to me it's very interesting uh, making the immediate switch from from pipe smoke to cigar smoke how the exact same cigar will taste totally different depending on the strength or the type of uh, smoke that you're smoking your pipes. For example, I just got through smoking a four-way rich hearty blend of uh, Latakia tobacco through a pipe and I'm lighting up one of my favorite smokes, my Boulevard Puros Dominicano. And I've noticed that uh, things are a lot are a lot smoother, but at the same time the taste that I normally taste, say on a dry palate, on a cigar stand out more when they're completely dry. So what I like to do is just you know keep a nice cool glass of water and if I'm going to smoke multiple bowls or if I'm going to go from cigar to pipe or vice versa I notice that cleansing the palate gives me the best opportunity and the best chance to taste the full full blend of the tobacco for what it really is. Perhaps you guys have noticed the same thing. That's what it tastes like when you switch without cleansing the palate. In this, tastes like when you cleanse the palate. Interesting. I challenge you all to try that. Perhaps you guys have noticed some of the same things. Um, a lot of the cigar tasters that do blind taste testings for example the gentleman from CigarAficionado.com which I'd like to highly recommend for anybody out there looking to get into cigars or try cigars find out what your palate likes find out what you like in smokes um, and just educate yourself if nothing else a lot of those guys those guys will burn and light and have up to 10 to 12 cigars going at one time I don't know how they do it. My palate is not near as advanced as some of those guys, but <clears throat> they seem to pull it off rather nicely. Me, on the other hand, I'm so remedial. I know that if I smoke a if I smoke a pipe, I've got to give myself at least 15 or 20 minutes upon making that transition from pipe to cigar. Otherwise, I get two totally different tastes. And actually, I've almost remove cigars from my humidor because of that very reason. The fact of smoking pipe and going right to a cigar, it's like, well, I don't like this cigar. There's nothing special about it. But try them after work. Try them in the morning. Try them on cleansed palates. I think that you'll find uh, that you'll give your smoke a lot better opportunity to please you than not. Let me know what you think, man. I'd be really curious to get some of your guys' comments on that. Smokes nowadays are a little bit more expensive than they used to be, say, five, ten years ago with the tax hikes and what have you. So I think you owe it to yourself to find out, or at least look for some sort of consistency or some sort of common ground. Don't make it overcomplicated, though. A lot of people have these unbelievable tastes they say that they taste. You know, the walnut, leathery, earthy overtones with saturated pecans roasting over a hot kettle lumberjack who's cooking popcorn on a Sunday while his dog runs rampant through the neighbor's yard type of taste. You ever heard stuff like that? A little bit extreme but if you watch if you watch enough uh, videos you'll find out these guys are describing all these flavors. Hell I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Pretty wild. With that being said, why don't we switch it over to a little bit of a heavier tune as I give you Metallica's Diaries Eve off the 1988 release 
and justice for all? A trivia question too. That's how I got my name, Justice for the Meek. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs>